Showers and thunderstorms have been popping up throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. We'll watch another wave move off the mountains. The blue arrows indicating where we're getting a bit of a moisture feed coming in from the east. And that could create some areas where we see strong winds. Certainly we could see some heavy rain as we've seen in recent storms. But tonight there's enough going on as the freezing levels come down. We could even see some small hail that pushes across the eastern plains heading into the overnight hours. So even overnight heading into tomorrow, a few stray showers or a little little rumble of thunder wouldn't be out of the question. It loses some of its energy during the day, but things could be a little more active tomorrow coming off the Bighorns through southern Montana. We'll continue to watch some of those storms ripple through and even on Friday another wave moves through, so we still have some chance of shower thunderstorm activity. 50s into the mountain foothills first thing Thursday morning, low 60s across the eastern plains, 50s, 60s to start the day and then 70s and 80s to end it. A little bit cooler day overall and cooler than average, but that comes with clouds and a chance of stray showers and thunderstorms. Here's how it looks for forecast temperatures on Friday. Temperatures edge up a little bit, but we'll still see those hit and miss showers and thunderstorms, especially later on in the day. And the extended outlook temperatures from upper 70s to near 80 tomorrow. We'll see a little bit of a warm up on Saturday, a downshift in temperatures close to seasonal averages by early next week, but we're trending towards hotter temperatures to the middle to end of next week.